My name is Sarah Kizar, and I'm a PhD student at Texas A&M. And if there's one thing you can know about me, it's that I can be a bit competitive. But researching wheat science really rivals my competitive base, as herbicide-resistant weeds directly impact crop resiliency in 66 crops across 61 countries. And I'm targeting one of the most notorious resistant weed species right here in this greenhouse I'm working in. It's called Amaranthus palmeri, but we can stick to palmer amaranth. Now, if you look at the map above me, you can see just how big of an impact palmer amaranth has spreading across the country and how it'll continue to proliferate if we don't get creative in our weed control. Essentially, the practice of relying on a few herbicide sites of action, or basically how an herbicide is formulated to kill a weed, has allowed tricky weeds like palmer amaranth to use evolution to develop resistance to these commonly used chemistries. Now, these resistant weeds contribute the next generation of their seeds to the soil seed bank, which is essentially the living memory of these resistant weed species and the most impactful robber of yields, and particularly in cotton, the crop I'm working with. Now, we can take the seed bank in its literal sense and think about it as a bank through the lens of debt. So every year, resistant weeds that escape in-season control measures contribute their seeds to the soil seed bank. And although they may be low in frequency, they can still add big amounts of seeds to the soil seed bank, resulting in even bigger future weed problems. Especially considering the fact that a single female palmer amaranth can produce up to a million seeds. Now, here's where my research comes in. As my hypothesis is that controlling the amount of seeds palmer amaranth can produce directly corresponds with future competition with the cotton crop. After all, we protect the fabric of our lives, right? If we want to give the cotton crop a fighting chance against this highly resistant weed, we need to get past relying on just a chemical jug to solve our seed bank spending problem. So, what if we could find ways to stop Palmer Amaranth from producing up to a million seeds and maxing out that crop credit card? We know that the basis of a weed seed is influenced by the environment its mother plant experiences, right? So, the, my research looks at using tricky tactics like sterility hormones, desiccating the crop early, and even LED lights to try and beat Palmer Amaranth at its own game. With using an integrated weed management approach like this, we can start to add to the crop credit column instead of continuing to add to the soil seed bank debt. Thank you.